Hey, what's up everybody? I'm the DIY guy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to tile the uh, ceiling in your shower. Um, so first I'm going to talk about kind of preparation because you're going to want to do a lot because you're going to make a mess. So first I'm going to put down a lot of cardboard over my existing tile work and all around the area. And then I'm going to put plastic wrap on as well. Now part of the reason that I chose to tile the ceiling is because I have this dent shield backer board or tile backer. Um, I have it on the walls and I have it on the section of the ceiling. I had my drywallers finish everything except the shower area which was debatably foolish of me because now trying to blend the 5 8 inch lid uh, with this kind of textured dent shield which is a different thickness um, I could probably do it by skim coating it and just really meticulously uh, mudding and taping um, and make it look good. But part of me kind of wanted to tile the ceiling anyway, so this kind of sealed the deal and um, really made the decision for me. So you can see I really covered all of the previous tile and the shower head with this wrap so that we won't get anything on the uh, tile work that I've already done. And it will be messy, so. Uh, be prepared. The first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that the line right here where this tile ends all the way with, I don't know if you can see it, but all the way with the other ending tile here, I want to make sure that that lines up perfectly. So to do that I'm going to snap a rope using a chalk line that I have uh, just to make sure that it's completely even with the existing tile. Alright, chalk line is snapped. You might be able to see it on the video as is. The next precautionary step that I'm going to do is actually continue by taping up some blue painter's tape just to uh, give myself a little bit of a buffer in case I get some mortar on the ceiling, um, which, I, which I don't want to do any more touch up on that ceiling than I have to. And then just to be safe, I'm going to put up another one. All right, now we're prepared and we're ready and we can, uh, we can start mixing the mortar and sort of uh, uh, getting the tile all prepped. One thing that I will precaution you when you do ceiling tile in, the, um, in a shower, your grout lines likely will not match up. Uh, fortunately, and I can't show you this now, but uh, my grout lines are actually going to be pretty close so everything will kind of blend in, um, but just make a note. You, you want to kind of plan where to measure, where to cut to try to get a smooth transition of your grout lines. If you can't avoid it, um, it is what it is, but I think if you can make a match, uh, it might just look a little bit better in the long run. Alright, so you are going to need a tile cutter of some kind. I have a small one here that I'm going to be using for this job. The rest of the tile work I had a larger um, uh, upright table saw that worked great, but this will suffice for this small project. I'm use this ProLite mortar here. Alright, since this is a pretty small area, I'm not going to use this whole bag. Um, i got to kind of ballpark how much to use, but I'm going to I'm going to go with maybe a little less than half of this bag. Which is kind of a bummer because it's 25 bucks a bag, but I don't need it all. Alright, so first we're going to want to put some water in. You're going to want to fill up about a quarter of the bucket with water. Maybe a little bit more than that, but uh, don't overfill with water. And then it's just a matter of getting that mortar on the ceiling, uh, kind of as much as you can. It's probably going to fall in your face, so make sure you look out uh, the best you can. And
then get your trowel lines in there. Um, When you tile a ceiling, you're going to want to make sure that you back butter each tile. And then I like to make um, little bullseyes and little targets almost, kind of circle motion with my trowel to get some grooves in there. And then when you put it on the ceiling, make sure you push really hard just to get it to get everything to kind of mix together and hold it there and it's a little bit awkward because you it's going to move just slightly but once it's up there it's not going anywhere as long as you did these steps right pushing it up as hard as you can and then while holding it I'm putting spacers in now I'm using these spacers that are pretty cheap and they're the kind of um, rubbery spacers another thing that you can do is use blue painters tape to kind of hold the tiles um, together which keeps the spacers in place. It works perfect for keeping the tiles from moving and it also keeps the spacers in place. For the section with the light I had to use an angle grinder and I just measured the diameter of the light and kind of measured where exactly I needed to place that in the tile and then use the angle grinder and it works incredibly slick. I don't have any video of it and I apologize but um, you can literally just cut out that circle put it in and it's good to go. And then it's just a matter of kind of working your way down, working your way through each tile, each section, um, following those steps, making sure that you back butter each tile, put on your little bullseye or your target, and then you're good to go. But there are spacers that might be better for this job that would actually go under the tile and then you can kind of screw. They're the self-leveling spacers. They're really pretty expensive and I didn't have them and I didn't want to go out and get them, but they would have worked a little bit better to keep the tiles even more level. Uh, that was probably the most tricky part because you're working above your head uh, to try to get all the corners really nice and level or to the best, to the best that I could, I got them level. And that in a nutshell is how you tile a ceiling in a bathroom. Thanks for watching. I'm DIY Guy. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. 